Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing an eyeshadow tutorial using the brand new Tartlet palette. This is an all matte palette and I'm actually using the look card and the look for playtime. So we're just going to start off with the buttery shade called Free Spirit. We're going to brush this all over the lid and up to the brow bone. Once we've got that nice blank canvas, we're going to be taking the shade Force of Nature and we're going to blend that into the crease to the middle of the lid. One thing I noticed, this was my first time actually using this palette, I noticed that these shades just blend so, so well, and this is definitely my favorite Tarte palette by far. I love all the mattes, and the quality is just, it's spot on for me. Okay, next we're taking the color Dreamer, and this is just going also in the crease, but just the outer third. next shade we're going to be using is called Multitasker and this is the deep brown of the palette. This is just going on the outer corners of the eye, so the actual outer V and then also the inner corner. We're going to be using both the same shade and I just pat that on with a dense brush and then blend it out with a fluffy brush, both like I said on the outer corners of the eye. As with most eyeshadow looks, I think the key here is just blending, making sure you're taking your time, and really blending the shades together to get that really smooth, even look that you want. Um, we're also going to be adding a little bit of the matte black, I guess these are all mattes, the black from the palette called Fashionista on the very bottom right corner, and we're going to be using that just at the outer edge on the kind of the outer V area to give it more of a dramatic look and just more depth. So once I had that all blended out, added that little bit of black. Next we're going to be taking Multitasker, the deep brown, and we're going to be smudging that on the lower lash line and kind of smoking it out. And then we're also going to take a little bit of Fashionista, the black, and put that on the outer corner of the lower lash line as well. I love being able to use a nicely pigmented eyeshadow just as my eyeliner on the bottom because it, it's just so much more soft. Alright, so once that was all done, then I went ahead and just finished up my second eye the exact same way I did here, starting with that Free Spirit all over the lid. Um, and then I used my Tarte Gel Liner, this is the one that they have, the Amazonian one, and then the Tarte Gifted Mascara. I really like how this look turned out and I actually think that this would look good not only for daytime or nighttime, just depending on how deep you really go with the browns and the blacks. I also wanted to be able to try out this look using some lashes because I thought it would just really look nice with the smoky eye. So I did use some lashes as a kind of secondary option if you would like. These are the Esquito Oh So Sweet Lashes. I did get a deal on these. Um, they weren't sent to me or anything, but I did find also a $10 coupon code if you use my link. Um, they have like a referral program. So definitely if you're interested, they are a spendy pair, but let me tell you, these are the best lashes I have ever used. So I'll put that link down below. Also if you guys would like to see a little bit more about the Tartlet palette, I have done a full-on video with swatches and you could check that all out with the links down below. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you all soon.